Hello all, welcome to BISVSolutions.com. My name is Amit and in today's session I'm going to walk you through with how to prepare Google's graphs in OBIE. There are total six sessions. Today is the first session. So we'll talk about some fundamentals of designing Google graphs. So let's see what we're going to design today. We'll take two examples in today's session. In first example, I'm going to show you how to prepare a pie chart. Uh, so in this example we are trying to show the revenue of different product and companies. The intersection of product and company, the revenue share for different quarters. You see in this example we use a pie chart that demonstrate this. In the second example uh, we use a line chart. The chart is rendered through Google and uh, we are passing 12 months revenue, 12 months revenue for different product line of business and a company. Before I show you how to build, uh, how to create a Google chart in OBI, I like to show you the Google charts are created by using Google APIs, charts.apis.google.com and we pass couple of parameters over there. We'll talk about these parameters step by step. The first parameter which is important to know in the beginning, these are last four parameters called data string and the chart will render depends upon the data value passed over here other parameters like your legend, your title and y and x axis. But your chart render depends upon this parameter. So what we are going to do, we will pass this parameter dynamically from OBIE. So before we proceed further, let me show you how chart look like. You simple take this uh, URL and pass it to your Google. And you see depends upon the brand chart I, um, the parameter I pass, my pie chart got rendered. I have got complete control, I can change the chart type, I can change the color of it, I can change other property as well. For example, now I want a line chart, I can change one of my parameter called chart type, CHT and make a line chart. I can all change the size of my chart by changing the parameter over here. The size is 100 by 400, I will change the size of it by 400 by 400. Right. So if I pass this parameter dynamically from my OBI dashboard, I can render the chart on my OBI. So let's see how it's get done. First step, we'll do it in two step. In first step, I'm going to show you how to prepare uh, Google chart, uh, how to prepare analysis, prepare the analysis and then all the majors are displayed, uh, displayed in my analysis. We'll convert them into chart. We'll pass them as an argument to my chart and it will render dynamically. Let's do the first example. First example, uh, well I'm going to create first analysis. In this analysis I need product line of business. I choose product line of business. I need in different companies. My majors are displaying with respect to different product line of business and company and uh, for given year for four quarters. So I apply filter on my year for a given year. So I'll take a year 2010, 2010 and apply filter on 2010 and I display all four quarters. And I display revenue. Let me see before, uh, let us process before we uh, proceed further. This is my output. Now I like to see the, you know, current quarter and four quarters sales current quarter, four quarter revenue, right. So I'm going to use over here uh, a revenue function, ago function, sorry. So I pass, I place in multiple instance of my revenue and change the value of it. I change my expression, right click on this and edit formula. I use the ago function. Ago function takes two argument. First argument over here is the revenue and second argument passes zero. And this become my current quarter revenue. I call this current quarter revenue. I do the same thing with others and I just change my argument. I use ago and this is previous quarter. I pass one for previous quarter revenue. So I call current quarter minus one. I change the heading current quarter minus one. And I continue to do the same thing for another two more quarters. I change the expression, change second argument as two and custom heading I make it as quarter, current quarter minus two. 
minus 2 and third one last one I say current quarter minus 4 0 1 2 3 sorry 1 2 3 this one should be third current quarter minus 3 right we can see the nice view now well when I view it the newly added column automatically go to exclude it so I put it into my tabular view current quarter current quarter minus 1 current quarter minus 2 and current quarter minus 3 well I don't want to show the quarter over here so I put quarter in my excluded section this is my view now I would render my chart on top of this number I'll pass this number to my Google chart and it will render the chart on the fly I'll display a cross tabular view pivot view to make it more meaningful I added pivot over here and I'll look at the intersection of company and product line of business company and product line of business let me remove quarter from here I put quarter in excluded section so this is my current quarter previous quarter previous quarter current quarter minus one two and three this is my revenue well so now let's let's render the chart in order to render the chart I cannot pass this value directly I need to convert into the format which my Google chart understand Google chart last four parameter I shown you takes a string parameter they should be string type right and the value which I'm getting is really high so before I pass this parameter to my Google chart I'll convert into meaningful format you see this example I have written one expression over here what does this expression do we'll do step by step so first I have taken a a go function and try to identify the previous quarter value as the value is very high I apply sine operator over here because sine operator display minus value I will multiply by 100 and finally convert to absolute then I made it uh, I ca cast this to a string type varchar type because my Cognos chart can accept only string parameter string parameter and appended format you see 30 comma 30 comma 50 parameters are being passed with a comma operator comma separator so you see I concatenate multiple revenue current quarter previous quarter previous two quarter previous three quarter I concatenated them by using comma operator right so to make it easy to understand I'll just copy then show you how it work I copy the whole expression and add it into multiple pieces step by step okay so what I do I just save it Google chart and uh, I add new measure add new measure for the sake of testing what I do I just exclude them other measures so that I could focus on individual I display only current quarter and display all the other quarters put into my excluded section now I add a new measure over here and I show you before passing this parameter to my uh, to my Google chart it has to be of certain format right we split this into certain format what I do I edit this member I click on edit and copy the whole expression and I do step by step first I'll take a sign value of it and show you how it look like I've taken sign value of my revenue current year revenue current quarter revenue it was small bug now I run it and see this is my sign value of my current revenue sign value of my current quarter right this is displaying negative value so what I do I multiply by 100 and display absolute value of it multiply by 100 so I get apps value in terms of percentage now because the value display negative value so I'll take an absolute value of it I'll take an absolute of it well, I'll not be passing a negative value take an absolute expression ABS this is my first parameter right this is exactly what I need to pass it to my 
uh, Google chart but this is a numeric type I want to pass as a string right so finally what I do I'll do a type casting I convert this into cast I cast it to my varchar cast as varchar so I'll just ensure that number of parentheses are uh, balanced number of parentheses are open called one two three four and close the one two three four right this is my one value I got one value but in order to render the chart I need to pass a series of values this is my first quarter first quarter value you see I pass an argument zero I keep on appending other value second quarter third quarter fourth quarter and so on so what I do I just copy this expression and append this click on this and I use a string operator pipe append this and the parenthesis sorry in the my double quotes this is for my first quarter I keep copying it for second quarter I'll change this argument from 1 to 0 to 1 and continue to do the same thing for another remaining two quarters this will form my the way it will convert my data string okay okay it seems there's some error let's debug it so you see it should be in single quotes rather than double quotes that was causing a trouble to me so I convert into single quote and now it we go so I click on OK everything's fine now I'll uh, run it and see what's the result this is my string parameter this become data string this I'll pass to my uh, my Google chart and this will render my chart on the fly right so what I do I'll take this value and finally this is my expression this is my final expression the first part of my uh, expression is some chart.apis.google.com and there are a couple of parameters right and you see chd chart data this chart data is passing randomly to my uh, google chart right now we are going to start understanding what are the different parameters this chart has step by step before i go proceed further i like to show you the output how it look like finally so see this is how it look like one more thing i like to explicitly mention when I specify my added this uh, column I should have specify this column type as custom defined type so under edit option my chart you see I define as uh, edit this and the type of my column chart let me go to the property section under column properties uh, on the data format I made it as custom text format and pass this as argument right it should be header value HTML and header value now I can change chart type right now I'm showing showing a pie chart I just change one of the parameter I can make it as a line chart as well so there's an argument called CHT called chart type CHT is uh, that's an argument CHT P for pie I see LC line chart right and click on OK now this time it will render the line chart it takes some time to render you see it's a line chart isn't it so let's see what are the different parameters I passed you can find all complete details uh, the learning material is available in your Google Drive under student folder so the detailed information about the what are the parameters being passed you can find it over there okay so in order to render the chart there are important parameters which you pass the first one is called CH Excel Excel talk about access access label and then I have given an example over here uh, access labels are January February March April May I pass over here January to May on my X axis and Y axis minimum average and mid minimum mid and 
maximum. So what you pass as x axis and what you want in a y axis, what label do you want? You specify over here custom access label. Right. Next you specify cust access label style. So color, size, alignment and other formatting. Uh, option you can specify over here. Well, uh, you need a detail about each parameter. You can simply go to the student guide and there you can find the detail about each parameter. Here you see we are passing two parameter over here. So label 3000 DT, 13 and 0 T. Next parameter talk about like chart type, which you see I change it. Uh, I can say LC for line chart. I can use P for pie chart and similarly I can ch change it to bar chart and other kind of chart as well. Whatever chart you want, you can pass it over there as a parameter. The next parameter talk about visible access, visible access, CHXT. So this is the information available for you see we pass over here what visible access do you want? I want X and Y. Both access should be visible to this. X and Y access. Bar, line, radar, scatter chart show one or more, one or two access line by default. But these lines do not include values. So finally, uh, your chart size. In what size do you want chart? CHS, 100 by 40. This is a chart size. So you pass all these parameter. The, the the next one is your line marker. You pass a line marker. So it depends upon what information you supply to a chart. The chart renders. The most important in all of them is a chart data string. It essentially st uh, accept the string st string type. Therefore, when I pass a parameter from my OBI, I made it as a string type and a chart renders. This is the final view of your chart and. Uh, these are all arguments I pass to it dynamically. That's all about that's all about today's session. You can access more example from our YouTube channel or you can subscribe to you can log into our site www.bispsolutions.com. Thanks for joining today's session and have a good day ahead.